Hello, Commander Shepard. Liara will be pleased to see you. You're Liara's assistant? Yes. Liara relies upon me to acquire useful intelligence. I don't have her network of contacts, but I supply her with supplemental data. It's really an honor to work with her. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. I'll make it simple. Either you pay me, or I flay you alive. With my mind. Shepard! Nixeris, hold my calls. My sources said you were alive, but I never believed. It's very good to see you. You have sources now? A few. Sources, contacts, even a little hired muscle. I've been working as an information broker. It's paid the bills since you... well, for the past two years. And now you're back, gunning for the Collectors with Cerberus. If you know that, then you know that I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. I'm sorry. I have commitments here. Things I need to take care of. What kind of things do you need to take care of? Are you in trouble? No, no trouble. But it's been a long two years. I had things to do while you were gone. I have debts to repay. Listen, if you want to help, I need someone with hacking expertise. Someone I can trust. If you could disable security at key points around Ilium, you could get me information I need. That would help me a great deal. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a server will open somewhere nearby for a short time. You can download data from there, if you hurry. Thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. I'm looking for Thane Krios. He's supposed to be here on Ilium. The Assassin? Yes. He arrived here a few days ago. My sources tell me he may be targeting a corporate executive, Nisana Dantius. He contacted a woman named Serena. Serena has an office in the cargo transfer levels. Perhaps she can tell you where Krios is. That was all just off the top of your head? I'm a very good information broker, Shepard. The world of intrigue isn't that different from a dig site. Except that the dead bodies still smell. There's an Asari named Samara here on Ilium. Do you know where I could find her? Samara? Yes. She arrived recently and registered with tracking officer Dara. You can find Dara at the transportation hub. Why would Samara have to register with a tracking officer? Is she a criminal? No. In fact, she's quite the opposite. Samara is a Justicar, one of an ancient sect of Asari warriors. Dara can tell you more. Thanks for the help. That's all I needed to know. Of course. If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. I'll talk to you later, Liara. Serena? Who wants to know? Name's Shepard. Liara Tassoni said you might have information on Thane Krios. Tana, cover for me. Over here. Yeah, I know who Thane Krios is. I might have passed him some information, but I didn't hire him. What do you want to know? Maybe you could help me find him. <laughs> I can tell you, but you won't stop him. When he contacted me, I checked up on him. The man never gives up on a job. I ran security for Nasana Dantius. Then I found out she was having people killed to cover up her dirty secrets. She fired me when I confronted her. Her loss. I might have been good enough to stop Thane from taking her down. If you work there, you must have an idea what his opposition will be. 
Eclipse Mercs. High-tech killer. Undisciplined, but very well equipped. They don't much care who they kill, as long as they're paid for it. Thane has quite a reception waiting for him. I told him all I knew. He didn't seem worried. Why does that name sound familiar? She was a representative on the Citadel a few years ago. Right. She had me kill her sister, the slaver. I thought that was just a rumor. Well, you know what she's capable of then. She has even more power here in Nos Astra. She uses it to keep her friends in check, and her enemies dead. So where do I find Thane? The Dantius Towers, penthouse level of Tower One. There's a second tower, still under construction. If Thane is smart, he'll go in from there. It doesn't sound like Nisana is just gonna let me in. She's as smart as she is paranoid. No one's getting in or out of there without a fight. I can get you in, but you'll only get one shot. You'd better be ready. I'm ready now. That's what I like to hear. We'll go tonight, as soon as the shift workers clear out of Tower 2. The towers are heavily guarded, and you'll find more resistance closer to the penthouse. So, this assassin... You planning to stop him? I'm just here to make sure he survives. Hmm. There they are, the Dantius Towers. You'll have to get up to the second tower and cross the bridge to the penthouse. Her mercs will fight you every step, but it's your best chance. We might find him before it goes that far. Maybe. At least you'll know where he's headed. All right, let's do this. Hold on. Don't linger too long. They'll be here to greet you soon enough. Good luck, Shepard. You're still alive? I can't feel my legs. My chest is killing me. Who did this to you? And why? We're just night workers. Nasana sent them after us. She sent the mechs to round us up, but we didn't hear. They just started shooting. Someone's here to kill Nasana. I need to find him. I haven't seen anyone. <laughs> but that explains. The mechs said there was no time. Nasana wanted us out of the way immediately. Then <coughs> the dogs. <coughs> I can't breathe. Here. That should ease the pain and keep you alive until help arrives. Really? This guy? Why? Take your time. I think I'm better. Find the other workers. Help them. I need to get up to the penthouse. Any suggestions? Take the service elevator to the upper floors. 
The bridge between the towers isn't finished, but if you're careful, watch out for the mercs. They're everywhere. Any idea how many mercs Nisana's got? A lot. Dozens of them are wandering around here all day. You'll find more the further up you go. Why would Nisana kill her own workers? To her, we're expendable. But I didn't realize she was that ruthless. My friends, co-workers, slaughtered. They were jumping off ledges to escape the dogs. I'll do what I can. Thank you. Let's get moving.
Requesting assistance. Rerouting. Ah! Please, don't kill us. We'll go, we'll go. Hey, look, they're not Eclipse. You're here to help us, right? It's one reason I'm here. Come on out, it's safe enough. Thank you. We are in your debt. Maybe you can help me. I'm looking for someone, not a merc. He's on his own. Well, whoever sealed us in here. When he found us, I thought we were dead, but he just closed the door and locked us in. Could be him, but that doesn't sound much like an assassin. Assassin? Here for Nasana, I bet. She's got it coming. You treat people like this, it always comes back to bite you in the ass. How many workers were in the tower? Are there many more of you? Not alive. We were lucky. Well, some got out before the dogs were sent in. Maybe a few are hiding somewhere. Did you see the one who locked you in? Do you know where he might have gone? He's no Solarian, I can tell you that. But I've no idea where he went. Sorry. If he's after Nasana, he'll be heading to the upper levels. Nasana's not exactly your favorite person? She's a... hard woman to work for. That's an understatement. She works us long hours, no overtime, and this is what you get in payment. She's unpleasant, to say the least. Why not just quit? We would if we could. What's stopping you? Our contract. We're stuck until the job's done. Quitting for any reason can be hazardous to your health. We hear that anyone who leaves early tends to disappear. Probably just a rumor. But who wants to find out for sure? I need to get to Nasana's penthouse. What's the quickest way? Cargo elevator is the only way up right now. They're still working up top. 
Watch your step. Some of the walls aren't in, and it's a long way down. Cold, too. I hate working up there. I wouldn't stay here too long. It should be safe down on the lower floors. I was just thinking the same thing. Let's go, everybody! Thank you. And tell your assassin to aim for her head. Because she doesn't have a heart. Get moving! I got a feeling that elevator isn't coming down empty. We should get behind... stuff. Turn around very slowly. Damn it. Have you seen the assassin? Why are you looking for him? You're not one of Nassana's mercs. Who are you? Answer my questions and I'll let you go. Look, pal. Even if I knew where he was, I wouldn't tell you. Not the answer I was looking for. I've got nothing more to say to you. If you shoot me, my team's right through there. They'll be all over you. Is a little information really worth dying over? Is Nasana? No. I suppose not. Okay, look. Last I heard, the assassin was down on the mezzanine. But the teams on the bridge think they might have spotted him. Nobody knows for sure. Get out of here. I'm going. Are you guys all right in here? Get back! Get back! I'll shoot! Drop the gun, lizard. I don't want to hurt you, but I will. I said get back! I'll do it! Please, don't make me do it. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. What's your name? I... I'm Talon. Don't... Don't come any closer. Talon, I'm Commander Shepard. I don't work with the mercs, and I don't want to hurt you. I'm here to help. I... 
All right. Here. I uh, don't feel so. Tell him. He's my brother. I just want to see if he's all right. Are you the ones who shot the Merc? It wasn't me. Your brother didn't do it? No. Telen was standing here with me. What happened exactly? The Merc found us and shouted at us to move. We, we panicked, and he shouted more. I thought he was going to kill us, then his head just exploded. Telen picked up the Merc's gun, but we were too afraid to leave. Then you showed up. That's very precise shooting. How safe is that bridge out there? The bridge is stable, but the wind's your real problem. If it doesn't throw you off, the Mercs will definitely try. There's a lot of them out there. I'm looking for someone. Probably the guy who killed this Merc. Talon thought he saw someone following us, but he's been a bit... on edge. I haven't seen anyone but the Mercs. Is the bridge the only way to the penthouse and the other tower? From here, yeah. It won't be easy. Mercs are patrolling the other side. Whatever Nasana's hiding from must be pretty scary. There are still Mercs up here. You should get to the lower levels. No need to convince me. Tell him. Come on, get up. Can we go home now? Yeah, we're getting out of here. Thank you. I'm afraid your men aren't able to respond, Miss Anna. I'll take it. They've seen us. I don't care what you do. No one gets across that bridge. I'll put them down.
Shepard, but you're dead. I got better. And now you're here to kill me. You're really paranoid, aren't you? Don't patronize me, Shepard. Charming as ever. I'm sure you find this all very ironic. First you take care of my sister, and now you're here for me. Well, you made it this far. Now what? You really think I'm here to kill you? Do you have another reason for destroying my tower? Decimating my security? I'm just looking for someone. You expect me to believe that? Is it credits? Is that what you want? Just tell me your price. We can make this problem go away. All the credits in the world won't make this problem go away, Nasana. Who the hell gave you the right to play God? I may not be perfect, but look at you. We both kill people for money. What's the difference? You kill people because you think they're beneath you. They're in your way. I kill people because they leave me no choice. You've got a choice. You don't have to do this. I can tell you. What? I heard something. Damn it. Check the other entrances. You stay put. When I'm finished dealing with this nuisance, you and I are going to... <laughs> So this is our guy. Good. I was hoping to talk to you. I apologize. But prayers for the wicked must not be forsaken. Do you really think she deserves it? Not for her. For me. The measure of an individual can be difficult to discern by actions alone. Take you, for instance. All this destruction, chaos. I was curious to see how far you'd go to find me. Well, here I am. 
How'd you know I was coming at all? I didn't. Not until you marched in the front door and started shooting. Nasana had become paranoid. You saw the strength of her guard force. She believed one of her sisters would kill her. You were a valuable distraction. You used me so you could kill her. I needed a diversion. You needed to speak with me. You certainly fulfilled your end of the bargain. What would you like to discuss? Someone's been abducting entire human colonies. We're gonna stop them. We already know the culprits. A race called the Collectors. I've heard of them. Attacking the Collectors would require passing through the Omega-4 Relay. No ship has ever returned from doing so. They told me it was impossible to get to Ilos, too. A fair point. You built a career on performing the impossible. This was to be my last job. I'm dying. Low survival odds don't concern me. The abduction of your colonists does. I hadn't heard that. Is there anything I can do? Giving me this opportunity is enough. The universe is a dark place. I'm trying to make it brighter before I die. Many innocents died today. I wasn't fast enough and they suffered. I must atone for that. I will work for you, Shepard. No charge. I've heard impressive stories, Krios. Sounds like you'll be an asset to the team. That is, if you're comfortable having an assassin watch your back. I've accepted a contract. My arm is Shepard's. Uh-huh. Don't know about you, but I'm loyal to more than my next paycheck. Obviously he is, too. He's doing this mission gratis. What's your concern? I don't like mercenaries. An assassin is just a precise mercenary. An assassin is a weapon. A weapon doesn't choose to kill. The one who wields it does. Where shall I put my things? I'd prefer someplace dry if anything is available. The area near the life support plant on the crew deck tends to be slightly more arid than the rest of the ship. Ah, an AI. My thanks. He seems quite civil. We need all the help we can get. He's not what I expected in an assassin. He may surprise you. Yeah. And he may not. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk? Certainly. We haven't had a chance since I joined. When we met you, you said you were dying. Yes. I thought you'd want to know more. You don't have to worry about the rest of the crew. My illness is not communicable, even to other Drell. It's called Keprel Syndrome. What exactly is the problem? My people are native to an arid world. Most of us now live on Kaje, the Hanar homeworld. It's very humid and rains every day. Our lungs can't deal with the moisture. Over time, the tissue loses its ability to absorb oxygen. It becomes harder to breathe. Eventually, we suffocate. Can't they do something about that? The Hanar have funded a genetic engineering program. They should be able to adapt us. The project has only been running for a few years. I don't believe my body will still draw breath by the time it bears fruit. Are you gonna be all right till the end of the mission? I should be fine for another eight to 12 months. The more time I spend in human environments, the faster it progresses. I think it's safe to say that by the time my body is incapacitated, we'll be victorious or dead. Either way, I won't be a burden to you. Is there anything we can do here? Normandy has a state-of-the-art medical bay. No, thank you. It's being attended to. If the finest medical minds in the Hanar illuminated primacy can't solve the problem, I doubt your ship's medic could. Thank you for your concern. Trust me, this won't affect my performance.
Tapping into Blue Sun's communication. Stay tight and look out for ambushes. Squad Bravo, a shuttle landed near your location. Check it out. Here we go. Keep close. Shot in the back and left to rot. That's definitely Vito style. Let's push ahead. Sounds like he hasn't changed. I get the feeling you have a past with this, Vito. I knew he was a sadistic bastard back when we started the Blue Suns. The Suns only got meaner after he staged his little coup 20 years ago. So yeah, we have a past. Why didn't anyone tell me you founded the Blue Suns? Because it's not common knowledge. Vito wiped me out of the records. He ran the books, I led the men. Worked real well for a while. Then Vito decided to start hiring Batarians. Cheaper labor, he said. Goddamn terrorists, I said. Twenty years is a long time to hold a grudge. A grudge? Vito turned my men against me. He paid six of them to restrain me while he put a gun to my head and pulled the trigger. For twenty years, I've seen that bastard every time I closed my eyes, every time I sighted down on a target, every time I heard a gunshot. Don't you call that a goddamn grudge? You survived a gunshot to the head? Yeah. And you survived your ship getting disintegrated. A stubborn enough person can survive just about anything. Rage is a hell of an anesthetic. We better get moving. They're at the southern axis. All squads mass at the gatehouse. Now! They know we're here. Bring it on, you son of a bitch! Squad Charlie, Delta, mass of the gatehouse! Zaid Masani. You finally tracked me down, Vito. Don't be stupid, Zaid. I have a whole company of bloodthirsty bastards behind me, ready to kill or be killed on my command. 
Actually, take your shot. Give my men a reason to put you down like the mad dog you are. Again. That gone nearsighted old friend. Burn you, son of a bitch. You just signed your death warrant, Masani. What the hell are you doing? Opening the gate. We don't sacrifice lives for the sake of a mission. There's always a better way. Like what? Wandering out in the jungle for hours looking for another way in. You want to waste time out here? Go ahead. I'm gonna kill Vito. You're endangering lives and the mission for your own selfish revenge. You really want to do this, Shepard? I ought to knock you the hell out. Thanks to you, we have a burning refinery to save. Let these people burn. Vito dies, whatever the cost. probably halfway to the shuttle docks by now. You're willing to watch these people die? Damn right I am. We stop to help these people and Vito gets away. And if he gets away, I'm blaming you. We're here to free these people. We're going in. I knew this was a mistake. If we're gonna do this, we'd better get to it. Interesting. I'll take it.
You just cost me 20 years of my life. Ah, son of a bitch. Oh. Zaid, you all right? The hell do you care? I'm fine. Now come on, get me out of this shithole. I'm not sure I need a man like you on my ship. If you didn't need me, Cerberus wouldn't have paid my fee. I'll do what I was paid to do. Nothing more, nothing less. Now stop screwing around. Let's go. You put your own goals ahead of the mission. It's not the way this works. I've survived this long watching my own back. No time to worry about anyone else. You're part of a team now, Zaid. There's no way we can do this unless we're all working together. You... you have a point. I'm not done with Vito, but I can put that behind me long enough to get your mission done. Let's get the hell out of here.